What's going on guys in the works and I am just going to ramble a little bit out of a little bit about the patch today um, that went out for PS3. You Xbox and PC guys did not get it. Um, so I actually haven't had a chance to play it, but I've been reading a lot of opinions about it. And I wanted to talk a little bit about some things that I've noticed right off the bat, um, some things they missed. Um, but first off, you're looking at what I consider probably the one of the best engineering choices post patch so keep that in mind um, I've watched a few gameplay clips of what the SG553 now does and it's pretty pretty good guys um, the recoil on it is substantially decreased um, you combo combo that with a little bit of longer range than some of the other carbines and the fact that it has a really moderate rate of fire is going to make it very powerful so if you haven't taken the time to unlock that thing in co-op now's your chance um, go over there and unlock it before the patch drops that way you can try it out as soon as they uh, release the patch but a few things that I wanted to talk about um, they did release the console server prices which I had planned on getting one they're pretty cheap honestly they're much cheaper than the PC prices they're about a dollar a slot um, so they max out at $24 or something along those lines, so not too expensive. Um, I'm not really sure on the details of that yet. I might hammer that out when we get closer to it if we're going to get a barracks Xbox server, so keep your eye out for that. Um, I don't think that we'll get PS3 seeing that neither of us have a PS3, so that's unfortunate. Um, but one of the other issues that I saw pop up is the MAV writing is not fixed. Yes, that was one of the things that everybody had to have fixed. And, you know, me personally, I didn't care about the MAV writing. I found it pretty pointless, honestly. It didn't really affect the game unless people got in, like, extreme high points like the Turan Highlight. So it had to be fixed. There was no way around that, unfortunately. Um, it was cool to do for a little while, but yes, it did get annoying when half the team was on top of a building where you couldn't see them. So uh, apparently if you lay prone, you can actually still use the MAV glitch. So that is one of the problems that they didn't really seem to adjust. So um, not really too confident going forward on some of the other issues that haven't really reared their ugly heads yet. But um, a lot of weapons have been changed. I've been seeing reports that the AK-74M, even though it seemed to be getting a recoil reduction, actually kind of feels like it has more recoil now. And that was kind of surprising to hear. Um, a lot of weird things happening. Uh, oh, oh, I did want to point out that I did see that that one of the surprises that they actually had in the game was that you can now pay to unlock all like attachments, weapons, and stuff like that. They have like three different packs where you can get a pack, you can pay. It was pretty expensive. I heard conflicting reports. One of you PS3 guys should tell me how much it really is because I don't have a PS3. But somebody said if you pay $60, you basically unlock everything. Um, so I'm guessing if the vehicle pack is 30 and the weapon pack is 30 as well. I don't know. Um, I'd have to look into that to get more details. But that's kind of weird that they introduced that now a lot of people are butthurt that they did that because it's kind of like a pay for power type situation where they're like well you know i spent all this time earning all my vehicle unlocks and someone can just pay to get it look at it like this guys you saved a lot of money you put you know you earn that the hard way by and saved yourself some money i mean there's no point in getting butthurt just because somebody is an idiot and pays you know sixty dollars to unlock flares unlock you know um, all the weapons before you so um, don't feel too bad about it I mean I at first I saw that and I was just like man that that's just so lame I mean we spent all this time doing this you know we had all these people that are grinding to get these weapons and then they just pay, let you pay for it. and then I so sat down and thought about it. I was like you know it really doesn't matter I mean in the end we all have access to it some way or another if you want to pay for it you, that's you know your money to waste if you've got it you've got it um, but you know that was kind of a surprise to me that I saw that in the patch so um, I don't know, I, I was actually kind of shocked that that ended up making it in there, but I guess Battlefield is trying to milk some more money here in the end, which isn't too surprising because, um, you know, as a business you want to get the most out of a, an investment, and that's obviously a way to kind of prolong the playtime and money making ability of Battlefield 3 beyond just like DLC, so um, that's another thing that I've noticed about it. Um, one thing that I've also seen, there's been a lot of conflicting reports about the, you know, a lot of glitches going on. Like I said, there's that RPK glitch where you can get 200 ma rounds in your magazine, which just makes it an overpowered beast. There's a glitch that uh, makes everything green apparently, so a lot of problems with this PS3 launch, but I think for the most part it was it seems to be really going well with PS3 players. Um, a lot of people were mad that, that they did that with PS3 first. You know, I was kind of annoyed by it, but I understand that they really have a lot to repair with the Battlefield 3 community on the PS3 with the input lag. 
So I think they needed the patch more than anyone. But I will point out that I have seen conflicting reports that, you know, the input lag on the PS3 hasn't really been fixed. So um, not really sure if that's going to ever be addressed. I mean, that's probably an upscaling problem due to the fact that Battlefield 3 doesn't actually play in 720. And I don't think they could ever fix that since PS3 does do some crazy... Um, upscaling when they when it's on the console so um i don't know but from what i hear it's better but it's not wor you know it's not really completely fixed um some other random issues i've seen is it i see that people are talking about how tanks and choppers are now really really weak i saw someone say that you can now take out ch tanks a lot easier you know it takes a lot f fewer rpgs to finally disable and destroy a tank you know Infantry can do damage, and oh, look at this, this guy gets turned on so hard. Infantry can now do damage to um, scout helicopters and helicopters with light machine guns, so um, those are a lot easier to take down. Apparently, now extinguishers are more important because they're going to uh, save choppers more so than they used to in the past. So, um, a lot of changes, some for the good, some for the bad. Uh, hopefully, you guys uh, enjoyed what you got out of it, and I will see you guys later. Peace.